Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And in this video, we have the foot anatomy quiz part one. This should be a great one. So as all the other quizzes, make sure you stop, answer the questions and proceed. But before you get started, make sure you like and subscribe to this content. So that way it lets us know we are on the right path to creating more medical content for you guys. Let's begin. Question one, which joint or bone is the largest bone in the foot? Question two, which of these is not a muscle in the foot? Question three, what is the longest ligament in the foot called? Question four, how many phalanges are in one foot? Question five, which of these is not one of the four muscles on the anterior part of the lower leg? Question six, which movement has the greatest range of motion in the ankle joint? Question seven, which muscle dorsiflexes the talar joint and everts the subtalar joint? Question eight, a grade two ankle sprain is marked by Question nine, damage to the superficial peroneal nerve will result in. Question 10, which of the following is injured if an athlete has turf toe? Question 11. The talonavicular joint has the most motion in which plane? Question 12. For the tibialis anterior muscle, all are true except Question 13. The skin on the dorsum of the foot is supplied by the... Question 14. Foot drop is due to the injury of the... Question 15. A construction worker lacerates the dorsum of his foot just below his ankle. Profuse bleeding that occurs would result from cutting which vessel? Question 16. 
All right, guys, hope you had fun answering those 15 questions. Now it's time to check your answers and see how many you got right. Question one, which joint or bone is the largest bone in a foot? The answer is A, calcaneus. Question two, which of these is not a muscle in the foot? The answer is C, gastrocnemius. Question three, what is the longest ligament in the foot called? The answer is A, plantar fascia. Question four, how many phalanges are in the foot? The answer is B, 14. Question five, which of these is not one of the four muscles on the anterior part of the lower leg? The answer is C, quadriceps. Question six, which movement has the greatest range of motion in the ankle joint? The answer is B, plantar flexion. Question seven, which muscle dorsiflexes the talar joint and everts the subtalar joint? The answer is C, tibialis anterior. Question eight, a grade two ankle sprain is marked by C, moderate laxity with anterior drawer test and moderate swelling. Question nine, damage to the superficial peroneal nerve will result in B, loss of eversion. Question 10, which of the following is injured if an athlete has turf toe? The answer is C, greater toe or the big toe. Question 11, the talonavicular joint has the most motion in which plane? The answer is B, frontal plane. Question 12, for the tibialis anterior muscle, all are true except B, it's attached to the navicular bone. Question 13, the skin on the dorsum of the foot is supplied by the D, all of the above. Question 14, foot drop is due to the injury of the B, deep peroneal nerve. Question 15, a construction worker lacerates the dorsum of his foot just below his ankle. Profuse bleeding that occurs would result from cutting which vessel? The answer is B, dorsalis pedis artery. All right, guys, I hope you got most of those questions right. And don't forget, you can always go back, take the quiz again, just to further improve and enhance your knowledge of the foot anatomy. Don't forget, you can always go on our channels and play other quizzes and test your knowledge of anatomy, medical physiology, and other medical topics. Last but not least, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We thank you for visiting us, and we'll see you guys on the next one.